What's up guys, back with another video. So in this video right here, we will be talking about Facebook ads lookalike audiences. And I'm here to tell you, there are multiple different ways you can use email scraping. My opinion, the most effective way to use email scraping is when you're using it for targeted lookalike audiences. Now, I know a lot of people, um, they don't really, they never marketed it in their life, they never ran ads in their life. And I'm telling you right now that um, you're missing out on a potential skill, features knowing how to market your product and service. Cold email is a great, great option. But if you can use cold email and you can run targeted ads, you will come out on top. You just cannot give up. So I'm about to go ahead and show you how to go ahead and do that. Now, lookalike audiences for Facebook ads is targeting method that helps you reach new people who are likely to be interested in your business because they resemble your existing customers. So basically, once you upload it to Facebook ad, you're going to take a thousand people from your lookalike audience. And with Facebook automated machine, they're going to make a lookalike audience. So basically, they're cloning. But these are people who will be interested in your service. Um, it's very powerful. So that's pretty much what it is. It's just going to analyze the traits, interests, and behaviors of your current customers or specific audience you choose, and then finding users with similar profiles. This can help improve the effectiveness of your ad campaigns by targeting people with a higher potential for engagement or conversations. So that's pretty much what lookalike audiences is. Spending $20 a day on Facebook ads can be an effective way to promote your business or product. Um, this is just the cheapest option if you're with a limited amount of budget. I know a lot of people are just trying to get their business off the ground when they're using our software. So if you got $20 a day, they can go towards your business. This is an investment. I will highly use Facebook ads and cold emails together. I would send out cold emails every day and I would run ads. I'm trying to grow my business. So this is the best way to go ahead and do that. We give you all those tools to be successful, man. This is what we do at IGLeads.io. We want to see you successful. We want to see you make a lot of money in your business. You should aim to target five keywords or hashtag. We're going to be using IGLeads.io chatbot to go ahead and generate these keywords. Um, I got a screenshot right here to show you how it works. As you can see, if you go on the scraping dashboard on our software, um, it's going to go ahead and ask you, you know, how, how can we help you? And you're going to go ahead and say, give me five keywords and hashtags related to business owners or anyone who has a company. And it's going to go ahead and give you some hashtags to go ahead and paste into igleads.io. So we're going to be creating lookalike audiences off of these five hashtags. So that's how we're going to go ahead and get our list. And once we get those lists, I'm going to show you guys how to go ahead and upload those five audiences to Facebook ads so it can go ahead and create a lookalike audience. I want you to go ahead and allow to run these ads for at least a week. You want to do $20 um, a day for one keyword or, you know, one email list. And you want to let that run for a week. Now, if you start getting sales, you start getting a lot of signups. That's a winner. You want to go ahead and scale that ad up. So I'm about to give you guys the step-by-step -step process on go ahead and how to do this. And of course, if you have a product or a landing page, you wanna make sure you do have a website, you have a product, or if you don't have a product, you wanna make sure that you at least have a landing page to where you can convert them later. You wanna ask for their email, you wanna ask for their number, and you wanna ask for their name. That's the main point. You wanna make sure you collect these leads off these ads. You can send them to a product page and see if they'll convert. But if you do send them to a private page, at least you still want to ask for their email. But no worries. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do that with Typeform. Um, Typeform is one of my best platforms right here to go ahead and create landing page. Now, these are for people who don't even have a website. You know, they don't know how to create product pages. They don't know how to go ahead and convert customers. I'm about to go ahead and show you guys right now how to actually do that. I love to use Typeform. Just go to Typeform.com. And I went ahead and just used one of their templates, as you can see right here. I like to demonstrate how I can assist growing your business using digital marketing. I run a social media marketing agency. These are the hashtags that I use right here to go ahead and find people who own a business because I have a business of teaching people and helping people grow their business with digital marketing. But this works for any niche or business. You just want to go ahead and find your target audience. And so this is just an example I'm giving you guys. <laughs> So, you know, I actually don't run a social media marketing agency. So as you can see right here, I'm just using a basic template off type one. And then and the next question I ask, what is your current budget for growing your business? And then you can go ahead and ask for that information. First name, email. Um, you want to go ahead and get that information. And of course, you want to go ahead and connect it to your cold email um, software. If you go over here to connect, you know, if you use MailChimp, if you use MailChimp or if you use Clavio, so they have Clavio. And you know, these are your warm email softwares. So you wanna go ahead and create a landing page before you even start advertising. You wanna make sure that you know your product, 
You want to make sure that you know what you're selling and you want to make sure that you know how to collect their information. Now, I'm about to go ahead and show you guys how to go ahead and scrape on IGLeads.io. We got a lot of courses in here for you guys, but in this section, we will be talking about advertising. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and get into it. So let's go ahead and switch over to IG Leads dashboard so I can go ahead and show you guys how to scrape these potential. All right, guys, we are now in the good part. So the good part here is we're going to go ahead and start scraping for these leads. Um, we're going to go ahead and start scraping for the keywords and hashtag. As you can see, I went ahead and already scraped it just so we can go through it. We're going to be using LinkedIn, by the way. I think LinkedIn is the most popular platform to go ahead and start scraping emails. I don't think nothing beats LinkedIn just because all the professionals are on there. We got a lot of other options in here for you as well, but we will be using LinkedIn. Now, um, this is all I told it to do. Um, I said, give me five keywords and hashtags related to business only owners, anyone who has a company. And it went ahead and just created me five hashtags that I can go ahead and start scraping. So I went ahead and just copy those hashtags here one by one. And as you can see, um, I went ahead and got the results for these. So as you can see, I got company growth, entrepreneur, small business, startup, business owner. Now, all you need is a thousand emails to go ahead and create a lookalike audience. So now we're going to go to Facebook ads and we're going to go ahead and create some lookalike audiences off of these emails um, you want to go ahead and open up Facebook Ads Manager now if you don't know what Facebook Ads is um, just go ahead and go to our courses um, set up Facebook business account we're gonna go ahead and show you guys how to go ahead and set that up in our courses section but once you do that this is the dashboard that you will see where you can start running your campaigns now I'm gonna go ahead and go to audiences and this is where we're gonna go ahead and create those lookalike audiences we've been talking about the whole video so Let's go ahead and wait for this to load. So as you can see, I have a lot of lookalike audiences that I've used in the past. So now we're gonna go ahead and create a custom audience. We're gonna use customer list and we can just go ahead and name what we wanna name it. But let's go ahead and click next. No, we do not have a customer value. So we're gonna go ahead and start with business owner. And now, um, as you can see, we got the phone number and the email. That's all we need. Now the customer list is uploaded. We got 1,400 rows uploaded and then you can go ahead and create a lookalike audience by doing that. So we can go ahead and do United States only. Um, if you're in another region and you want, um, you know, lookalike audiences or whatever country you want, just go ahead and add the country you want right here. And then we're going to do 2.8 million people. So Facebook created um, a lookalike audience of 2.8 million people that we can go ahead and target. So we can now go ahead and click create audience. And now it went ahead and created that audience. So now let's go ahead and create a campaign. Now, like I said, um, you wanna go ahead and create five of these. Um, just go ahead and repeat that process. Just go ahead and upload all the other CSV files that you have got. And now we're gonna go ahead and create our first Facebook ad. I'm gonna make this as simple as possible. Um, I know we got a lot of beginners watching, so I'm just gonna show you guys how simple and easy it is to go ahead and create your first Facebook ads using lookalike audience. So now I'm gonna go ahead and create campaign. Um, we wanna go ahead and do sales. Uh, another thing is you wanna make sure that you obviously have a pixel on your website. Um, I need you to go to Fiverr, type in Facebook ads pixel, and you know there's a lot of people that can install a pixel on your website so you can start tracking sales. But obviously I don't recommend, but you can obviously track sales from your website. So if you get a sale and this is literally the only ad you're running, obviously you will know where the sale came from. But if you're a more, you know, um, advanced marketer and you're advertising on Google, Facebook, Twitter, you might want to use third party programs like high rows or something to go ahead and track those sales. So now we're going to do manual sales campaign. And now, you know, I'm just going to keep it um, a normal name, new sales campaign. Um, and we're gonna have a budget of $20 a day. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do $20 a day, and now we're gonna go to the next section, and of course, we're gonna drive it to our website. And this is where you select your pixel, um, and then you wanna have a purchase. Like I said, go ahead and install that pixel on your website, just go to Fiverr, and that can pretty much set up a pixel on your website. So now, um, we're gonna go ahead and use the audience that we just created a lookalike audience on. So. We're going to do business owners, as you can see right here. And we're going to do United States. And as you can see, we're going to do, um, you know, basic placements. And now we're going to go ahead and click next. And now, of course, you want to go ahead and select the business page. So I'm going to use IGLease.io. And this is where you can go ahead and create an ad, 
create a text ad. You can also go to Fiverr.com, go ahead and create a image ad. I think image ads are working way better than video ads right now. I went ahead and added my image. I used to sell video editing products. So of course um, I had a pretty much an image of Premiere Pro. I'm trying to sell my plugins. That was my last business. So as you can see, I went ahead and uploaded my image. And now you wanna go ahead and create a primary text. Um, this is where you can use ChatGPT or you can use our website to go ahead and generate you um, headlines and descriptions. Um, and then you can go ahead, select your call to action, which we will be using. Um, go ahead and click shop now. And of course you can go ahead and import your website URL. Remember where we created that type form, you can go ahead and copy and paste that link here. Um, but I know I kind of went quick over this. This is just an overview, man. I'm just setting the framework for you. It's your job to do the work. Now, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like and comment. I'm here to help you guys make money. I'm here to bring value to your business. Um, other than that, thank you for checking out this video.